all right you are welcome again all right today let's take a look at this question on the polynomials it says use synthetic division to find the value of k if s cube plus k minus one in bracket s squared plus x plus upper bracket five minus k close the bracket is divided by x plus i and leaves remainder zero okay we are to use synthetic division to find the value of k given that this p of x s cube plus k minus one in bracket s squared plus x plus in bracket five minus k when it is being divided by x plus i it leaves remainder zero meaning that x plus i is a factor of this polynomial p of x so here we are asked to use synthetic division to find the value of k are we together all right let's go it's very simple please pay attention so uh, p of x we have x cubed plus in bracket k minus i x squared plus x plus in bracket 5 minus k okay this is our dividend and then our divisor is x plus i so using synthetic division we set this our divisor to zero so we, when we set it to zero we're going to have x is equal to minus i x is equal to what minus i then let's draw our division table okay now here's our division table and then you know when we are using synthetic division we are only interested in the coefficient of the polynomials right good now we're going to insert just the coefficient okay so when we insert the coefficient the first one is what x cube and then again we're also going to ask ourselves a question in this polynomial p of x is there any missing term look at it carefully is there any missing term no so there's no need to bother then the only thing we're going to use is to insert their coefficient okay so the first one is s cube what is the coefficient of x cube is what one so the coefficient of x cube is one then the next one is x squared what is the coefficient of x squared k minus one then we insert it and then the next one is x what is the coefficient of x here is one then the last one what is the equation 5 minus k all right yes and then our divisor which is x equal to minus i so we place it here right good so what do we do here we draw a line right and bring down this first one when we bring it down we're going to use this one that we brought down multiply by our divisor which is minus i so here we have one times minus i it's going to give us minus i so this minus i will write it under k minus one all right and then we add it together so when we say k minus one plus minus i we're going to have k minus one minus i right yes now this k minus one minus i that we have multiply by minus i which is our divisor up okay so what do we have we're going to have minus i times k is going to give us minus k i and then minus i times minus one is going to give us plus i and then minus i times minus i is going to give us what i squared and i squared is minus one all right yes so when we see minus i times k minus one minus i the answer is minus k i plus i minus one all right yes so we write this under my under what one then we add this together so when we add this together it's going to remove minus one so we are simply going to have minus k i plus i all right yes so as we add one and then minus k plus minus k i plus i minus one together we are having minus k i plus i right yes so this result we have now multiply by 
our divisor which is minus i so here we're going to say minus i times minus k i what is going to give us i'm going to have minus i times minus k i so minus we cancel minus right good then i times i is i squared i squared is minus one so minus one times k is minus k right good again when we say minus i times i what is going to give us it's going to give us minus i squared and then i squared is what is minus one then minus multiplied by the minus outside we're going to give us positive one so therefore when we say minus i times minus k i plus i is going to give us minus k plus one we write it under five minus k then we add them together when we add five minus k and the minus k plus one together we are going to have five minus k minus k plus one okay then we underline this you know this is the last one and this is the remainder okay now when you examine this carefully we are going to see that from the question it says that the remainder is what is zero and then that is to say that this remainder we have here is equal to zero okay it leaves remainder zero which implies that this five minus k minus k plus one is equal to zero right yes so when we say minus k minus k is, is equal to what minus 2k and then 5 plus 1 is what is 6 so here we have 6 minus 2k is equal to 0 right yes what do we do we take 6 to the other side we're going to have minus 2k is equal to minus 6 we are looking for the value of k divide both sides by minus 2 so when we divide both sides by minus 2 we're going to have k is equal to 3 all right yes you know the question says we are to use synthetic division to find the value of k and we have solved we discover that k is equal to minus 3 all right yes thank you very much for watching please if you are new to our youtube channel do well to subscribe like and share our videos stay blessed